<laughs> All right, show of hands. Who here likes sermons? I realize now that was a bit, a bit risky. <laughs> a bit of a risky uh, question to ask. Um, who, <laughs> who likes getting a, a phone call or a visit if you're sick or lonely? Yeah, yeah, most people. Yeah, who likes a little spiritual guidance from now from time to time? Yeah, me too. Yeah. You know that October is Pastor Appreciation Month? <laughs> Pastor Dan enjoys all of these things too, so that's nice. <laughs> um, Pastor Dan, you and your family are just an amazing part of our community and our church, and we appreciate you a lot. Oh, <laughs> Let's show our appreciation. <laughs> On, be, on behalf of the, sorry, did you want to say something? I just said thank Speech. you. Speech? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> on behalf of, of our congregation um, and all of us, our, our council has purchased a gift for you that uh, the chairman, Henry, will give to you later. And um, I encourage you all to reach out with a text or a phone call. Um, we have a few days left before the end of the month, so... It's not that you can't appreciate Pastor Dan in November, but October is really like, get out there, give him a message, and uh, if you want to know what the gift is, that's a good incentive to reach out to him so you can ask him <laughs> what he got. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Pastor Dan. Thank you. Uh, uh, Lydia is the only other member of the family. It's probably hard being a pastor's uh, family, so we thank you as well. <laughs> so, uh, right. Moving on to our uh, time of confession, renewal, from Hebrews 4. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Yeah. Let's pray. God, we lay before you our burdens. We confess to you our sins. We are tempted in many ways and we give in to many temptations. And we thank you so much that you can understand what we go through when we are tempted, because you also were tempted when you walked on this earth, just as we do. Yeah. And we thank you that you did not ever give in to temptation, and that you atoned us, that you took the sins from us, that you forgive us. Each and every day, you continually forgive us. Thank you, Jesus. 